Can you use an old uh, Sony SLT camera in 2023? And uh, what is an SLT? Why is not an SLR? Well, let's have a look. Recently I found this uh, camera for very cheap. Um, I only paid uh, around 100 euro for the camera plus uh, this lens uh, that goes from 18 to 55 which is sort of the kit lens and I also got it with another lens uh, for that goes from 18 to 135 millimeters. So a nice combo and I even got an extra battery and it's uh, it came in its uh, original box. So very nice and uh, at a good price. Well, first of all, let's get that out of the way. What is an SLT and why isn't it a DSLR? Well, um, it's a single lens, yes, just like uh, DSLRs are single lens re reflex cameras. This is also a single lens, but it has this uh, SLT. That is because it has a translucent mirror inside. So it doesn't have a mirror that has to flip up to get out of the way for the light so it can hit the sensor instead. And that's a good thing because uh, the mirror slab is set to can shake the camera house, but this one doesn't have a mirror slab because the, the mirror is translucent and uh, the light just uh, most of the light just goes through it and hits the sensor. Another thing about this camera is that although it looks like much like a DSLR with the optical viewfinder, this is an electronic viewfinder with a pretty high resolution. Um, so it actually works all the time, just like um, a modern day uh, mirrorless cameras uh, with uh, an electronic view of uh, your scene uh, right through the viewfinder all the time. And that goes even for when you're shooting video with this camera, which it, uh, by the way, can do in full HD. It's not a 4K camera that wasn't uh, available in 2011. But uh, you can look through the viewfinder all the time. You don't need to have a, be able to look to the... You don't have to look to the LCD. You can just uh, put it up to your eye if uh, there's a lot of uh, sun around you and you can't see the screen. So that's a nice feature as well. When I compare this camera to one of its contemporary cameras, uh, also from 2011, it should be the Canon 600D, which is a very popular camera, or was a very popular camera at that time. Um, this wasn't sold as much as that, but uh, actually it should have been, because I find that this camera had much more to provide than, than the 600D. One of the things that this camera has, it's a 24 megapixel sensor. I don't remember the 600D, I think it was 18 megapixels, so it's a high resolution. It's the same uh, kind of uh, APS-C sensor that sits inside it, uh, but this sensor is uh, stabilized, meaning that you don't have to buy lenses with image stabilizer in it. This uh, is stabilized through the camera body itself. So a very nice and an early thing that the, that Sony already had in their cameras at that time. Furthermore, this camera goes to uh, ISO 12800. The 600D, Canon 600D only go to 6400. And it has a greater color depth and a higher dynamic range also than the 600D. So in, in almost every aspect I can think of, this is a better camera. One very special feature, if you are shooting uh, out and about, uh, traveling for instance, this camera has a built-in GPS, so you can activate that. You don't have to have it activated, it uses up a little bit of the battery, of course, but uh, if you have it activated, your images will be GPS tagged, so you can actually see where exactly you took that image. Uh, furthermore, this, the Canon 600D is a pretty slow camera. I think it shoots uh, 4 frames per second. This one goes to 10 frames per second. So for its day, it uh, was a pretty decent sports camera uh, with a high resolution at the same time. That's, uh, that's a bit unusual, 
uh, many uh, cameras uh, which were meant to be used for sports like uh, a Canon uh, 1D series of cameras, they had much lower resolution if they should uh, be able to shoot at 10 frames per second. But that's one of the um, that's one of the advantages of having this mirror that doesn't have to flap up and get out of the way. Uh, this mirror can stay down, so it's uh, as fast as the sensor can read out uh, the data. Uh, you can also uh, shoot on this camera. Uh, the mirror is uh, is the hindrance to uh, higher uh, frame rates on the Canon cameras, but this one doesn't have that kind of mirror. This one has a very special uh, selfie feature because the uh, LCD flips down to the bottom of the camera, so it's actually not flipping up to the side, but you can shoot selfies with it, although uh, if you're putting it on a tripod, it's a bit hard because uh, then the tripod will block uh, the view to the viewfinder, to the LCD, sorry. Um, but anyway, very, very nice feature and you can shoot selfies with it. Here's a short look at the camera body in the other side with the passenger dial and a lot of uh, in settings also for panoramic photography. The side of the body has an autofocus manual switch as there is on the lens as well. And the other side with the, the on off button and uh, some buttons for ISO for instance. And the back side with the movie button and some uh, function buttons as well as uh, the menu and display buttons. And when we turn it on you see the LCD with a lot of information here. And uh, here's the switch between uh, yeah, the, the sensor that switches between the LCD and the EVF, it is quite sensible, uh, so that's nice. And and in the EVF you have the same information as you have on the LCD. The lens are gone as part of this combo is uh, pretty small for an 18 to 135 millimeter lens. Uh, but when you extend it to 135 millimeter, it becomes very long with a double barrel uh, construction. Let's have a look at some images, uh, the first of them shot around my home or in my home and the others uh, shot in the center of Copenhagen. you like my uh, small review of the uh, Sony SLT A65, a camera that uh, has so many features and was uh, quite in front at its time in 2011, but I find it 
uh, pleasant to shoot with uh, even nowadays. Um, lovely little camera to, to use. If you like my video, please uh, subscribe and also hit the like button. Um, and then I only need to say thank you very much for this time and bye for now.